Hey everybody, it's Joanne from Artsy Lake Tarot. Thanks for checking out this message. Going to be doing a check-in for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Going to tap into the energies that are surrounding you at this time. See what message your guides and angels have for you. So if you are a cross-watcher here for Virgo, please remember flip switch the energies and rolls. Don't force any messages. If it does not resonate, check out other placements. As the energy surrounding Virgo and what does Virgo need to know? So something is over. You're releasing something. Some You are walking away from a connection that was very serious. A soul tie of some kind. This relationship is over. No second chances. What's dead is dead. This is someone that you thought was a twin. But it didn't work out. This is someone that you could be divorcing. This is someone that you are breaking contract with. There's no looking back is the energy that I'm getting. Let's see what else I can get for you, Virgo. Give me some more energy for that which surrounds Virgo. And then I'm going to clarify this with Tarot. But I do feel that you've disconnected from someone that was very disappointing. The world in the reverse. But someone's still connecting to you is what I feel. Beware is the message, Virgo. Be careful who you trust at this time. Because someone is still spiraling. Someone is not wanting to walk away. Someone is not wanting to lose you. Someone doesn't want to let you go. But it's over. It's dead. This relationship is done, but someone is not wanting to let you go. Be open to new possibilities in all areas of your life. So someone is in denial for the fact that this connection with you is over. Flip it, switch it, right? If you're a cross watcher, flip it, switch it. So it says this is someone that you're possibly in a very serious soulmate connection with because we've got soul connection and twin flames. So at one time, there was a lot of potential here, Virgo. But ultimately, this is someone that you've had to close cycle with because of some pain, right? And you're not willing to give second chances. There are no second chances. You're moving in a new energy, transforming your life, right? This is what's dead is dead. You could be dealing with Scorpio with that death. Energy doesn't have to be. So I'm going to clarify this with Tarot. So like I said, if you're a cross watcher here for Virgo, flip switch the energies and roles. Don't force anything that doesn't resonate. So this is a collective reading. If it doesn't resonate, check out other placements. You can also connect with me for a personal reading through the email provided in the description box for the video. So I'm going to clarify this energy now with Tarot. Spirit guides and angels, please give me a clear message for Virgo in regards to this spread. What does Virgo need to know in regards to this message? So four of wands in the reverse. So that is a bro breakdown within a union, within a connection. You could be dealing with an Aries with that four of wands energy. So there has been a breakdown in a home. A home has been turned upside down. There's a spiraling energy. There's chaos within a relationship that was once built on stability. There was a lot of growth at one time, but it's all falling apart with that four of wands energy. Bottom of the deck, we've got the sun. So the sun is the happiest card in the deck. So that's a little bit contradictory to have a breakdown of a, of a connection that was so valuable, that was once so committed and had so much potential. But you are seeing something clearly is what I'm getting, Virgo. You see things very clearly, in fact, to the, to the fact that you've released this energy, this person, for some reason because of pain. There's some pain attached because you're not even willing to go back. You're not even willing to give it another go. Because you're very much on a quest for happiness. Leo energy. Possibly you were dealing with someone that chose outside of you. Someone that did not choose the right path. Someone that possibly chose another. Because the lovers can be a choice between two. With the energy in the reverse. Possibly you're not choosing love for happiness at this time. Possibly happiness is not tied to another. Is what I'm getting. Now I do feel we've got the world here twice. With the three of cups. So there is third party energy. There is regret for the choices that have been made. Because somebody is now starting to see things clearly. About what they've lost. What they've gambled is what I'm getting here. So your challenge is the two of swords. The challenge is that you've made up your mind. So the challenge for the person is the perspective of the fact that you have changed your directions. You're not even considering this ever again. There are no second chances. That's very much the two of swords. The two of swords in this direction is about needing to make a choice within yourself. But when it's in this direction, the choice is being made. 
So it's being confident and moving forward in this new direction, changing your direction, changing perspective, right? After releasing something that you now see in a different light, a different perspective with that two of swords. Ultimately, it is all about moving towards happiness, towards a higher vibration. So in the recent past, you recognize that you were very tired, that this connection was causing you nothing but hostility, right? It was exhausting to you, right? You were sick of dealing with this person and their bullshit. You were sick of having all of this hope and expectation, and it was very disappointing, right? You changed your perspective. You didn't see things clearly, right? You're no longer focused on the past because it was draining. It was exhausting. This relationship was exhausting. There was a lot of potential here. There was at one time commitment, but it ended up being nothing more but exhaustion in the past is what I feel, right? This person is very attracted to you. This person uh, is still wanting to collaborate with you. This person is still very much thinking of you. Like I said, this person is very attracted to you. This person sees that you're now moving in a new direction and that you're leaving them behind. You're marching to the beat of your own drum. And ultimately, you will re release the pain and the burden of this cycle with the Ten of Wands. So there's a lot of fire energy here. The King of Wands is Aries, Four of Wands is Aries. We've got the Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands is Sagittarius energy, Virgo. So you are releasing something that has been heavy that was exhausting right? It was exhausting. This person was exhausting. But you are now seeing it clearly and you are moving towards something that's happier, like higher vibration, because there is validation that you were stuck in this for a long time, right? That it caused a lot of burden. And now you're releasing this person. This, this relationship is over. It's dead. Clarify the four of wands, the wheel of fortune, so now you're moving in this higher vibration. You're, you are honoring yourself in the path that you're on. You're accepting what's dead is dead, right? You're in this moment. You're practicing gratitude. You're being very much present in the moment with that wheel of fortune. So you're making wise investments. You're very focused on stability and finance, making good choices, right? You are reestablishing re after a breakdown of a, of a union. You feel very free. You've come from this very stagnant, heavy, burdensome place to feeling very free, very energized. So the, the challenge was the Two of Swords. We've got Seven of Cups. That's Scorpio energy. So you, you struggled to make the decision initially because you weren't sure if you were seeing the situation clearly. For a while, this person did have you under some illusion because you did... You did choose this person. You did think for a long time this was your counterpart, right? You did for a long time think that there was a lot of um, ex opportunity for expansion, clearly because you possibly married this person. Definitely in a serious soul connection for a period of time. There were memories, right? So there was, for a time, this person did have you in under some type of an illusion. But now you see it clearly with that Seven of Cups. Ace of Wands. So this is this is the past. You're moving in a new direction. So the four of swords in the reverse. That is the recent past. You pulled your energy back, right? You got tired, tired of being tired, tired of feeling stuck with this person, where there was no growth or expansion. You were dealing with someone very stagnant, someone that was lazy. You got tired of doing all the work. You got tired of carrying this person. So you've released them. And now you're growing and expanding in a new way, right? There was no growth or expansion. This person was lazy. This person didn't contribute. This person didn't do the work is what I feel. This person views you as the king of wands and the knight of cups. So that's why the world is here in this reverse. This person's still in love with you. This person's still very much attracted to you. This person doesn't want you to let them go. This person is very much still in love with you, Virgo, is what I see. That Knight of Cups that represents Scorpio energy could be dealing with a water sign. Bottom of the deck energy, the Empress, Taurus energy. They feel like you, they've lost the best thing that's ever come into their life. The Empress, they have regret for not doing the work. This is someone that did not honor you. And now you've pulled your heart back and this person's spying on you. What, what is the outcome? Give me more energy on that Ten of Wands. 
for Virgo. Why is Ten of Wands here as the outcome for this connection with Virgo and their person? The lovers in the reverse. This person not only was lazy, this is someone that did not like, didn't contribute to the relationship, right? You were burdened a lot by this person and the choices that they made. This person could have cheated, but whatever it is, you're on a path towards this new beginning with the fool energy and the wheel of fortune. The past is the past for you, Virgo. This relationship, this person's connected to you has lost their opportunity. You're making investments somewhere else. You're moving on this fool energy and leaving what's dead behind. There's no growth and transformation in that direction. You're moving forward, right? So you're moving on to something new. The fool energy and the death card, very much where you're at, Virgo. Thank you for watching. If you've not done so, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, Virgo. Bye.